Tyler Hines is everyone's favorite Hallmark leading actor. So today we wanted to cover his best Hallmark movies that made us fall so hard for him. Thanks to his good looks, natural charisma, and undeniable talent, Hines has quickly become one of the most sought after leading men in the world of romantic comedies. Whether he's playing a small town sheriff, a big city lawyer, or a charming barista, Hines brings warmth and authenticity to every role he takes on. With a career that's very much still on the rise, it's clear that Tyler Hines is a name that Hallmark fans will be hearing for years to come. The first movie that comes to our minds is none other than It Was Always You. Elizabeth, played by Aaron Krakow, starts to question her decision to marry her fiancé George when he gets stranded in the city, and his brother David steps in to help her plan the wedding. Oh my goodness, yes! It's like a solar eclipse, I can't look directly at it. Stop. As Elizabeth spends more time with David, she begins to realize that she has feelings for him that go beyond being grateful for his help. She finds herself drawn to his kindness, intelligence, and sense of humor, which are qualities that she now sees were lacking in George. Elizabeth struggles to make sense of her emotions and wonders if she's made a mistake by agreeing to marry George. Elizabeth must make a difficult decision that will affect the rest of her life. She must decide whether to follow her heart and be with David or to go through with the wedding and settle for a life that she knows will not make her happy. The movie is nothing but a roller coaster of emotions. What else do you want? This movie definitely captures your attention and even makes it hard to blink because you don't want to miss a scene. Up next is a movie from Hallmark's favorite season, Christmas. An Unexpected Christmas is, of course, a Christmas Hallmark movie that just in fact makes me want to watch it all over again just talking about it. It's a Christmas Hallmark special where Jamie and Emily, who are former romantic partners, decide to pretend to still be a couple when Jamie's family sees Emily at the train station and assumes she's there for the holiday season. Don't we all love movies with a slight misunderstanding that eventually lead to the purest of love stories? What if you stay here for a week so that my family can enjoy Christmas drama free? Do you understand what a terrible idea that is? Emily agrees to go along with the deception in the hopes that it will help her resolve a work-related issue. The strategy that they adopt is fake it till you make it, which implies pretending to be a happy couple in the hope that no one notices because Christmas was the beloved family holiday and no one wants to ruin that after all. Especially if these guys are planning to have babies. Oh my Whoa. gosh. Okay, what? Uh <laughs> in the end, Jamie and Emily must decide whether to continue pretending to be a couple or to come clean about their true feelings. As they exchange Christmas gifts, they realize that the best gift they could give each other is honesty and a second chance at love. They confess their love for one another and their families cheer them on as they embrace in a heartfelt kiss under the mistletoe. As I said, this genre never fails. And you know what else never fails? Your support of our channel. Sadly, 95% of our viewers are not currently subscribed to our channel, so please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video so we can continue making more. And if you really want to show us support, become a member today. Now, back to the video. Another holiday Tyler Hines classic is Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas. Elizabeth Athens, played by Holland Roden, experiences the enchantment of the holiday season as she reunites with her former best friend Josh, played by Hines through what appears to be a magical voicemail. Another very interesting topic to work with, Hallmark. I miss you, Maddie, but I'm trying to make things right. I like to think that she's the one that got away. He sounds like he really loves her. Although the message was not intended for her, Elizabeth is committed to finding its recipient and assisting him in rekindling his love with his soulmate. There's laughter, tension, fun, and most importantly, love in this movie. Throughout the quest, Elizabeth and Josh are forced to confront their own missed opportunities for love. And we all love romances that are gradual and build over time. He happened to say his name. No. Did he pay my credit card? Cash. Up next on our list, Three Wise Men and a Baby is about the Brenner brothers. Three siblings, Luke, played by Walker, Stefan, played by Campbell, and Taylor, played by Hines. They are forced to set aside their differences and work together to care for an abandoned baby left at their firehouse. Despite their constant bickering, the brothers realize that they must come together to provide a safe and loving home for the infant. No hands! It's just a baby. Just, just a baby. baby. I think he needs a little diaper change. Uh, nope. We may have to evacuate the store. <laughs> it's the most wonderful delivery of the season. However, their task becomes even more challenging as time passes by because parenting a child is not child's play after all. As they navigate the joys and difficulties of parenthood, the Brenner brothers must also confront their own issues and learn to rely on each other in new ways. Through their struggles, the brothers discover the true meaning of family and the importance of standing by each other during difficult times. Why isn't the baby crying? Why aren't you crying? Whatever. We warmed him up for you. Talk to us after you've changed the diaper. 
I already have. <laughs> Good luck with feeding. Bottle burped and bathed, boys. Overall, the movie is epic fun, and you'd be indulged in this experience and wouldn't want it to end. My advice for this one is that you keep a tub of popcorn ready while watching. Moving on is the beautiful Hallmark movie, The Mistletoe Secret. Alex Bartlett, played by Hines, is a ghostwriter who visits the town of Midway to write about Christmas. While there, he finds himself falling for Aria Eubanks, played by Kelly Pickler, the owner of the Mistletoe Diner. You know, the ugly Christmas sweater stamp, it can't just be bought, you gotta earn it too. Well, knowing the Christmas Council president doesn't get me any favors. How do you know I was president? I pay attention. However, Alex's plans are complicated by the unexpected arrival of his partner, Sterling Masters, played by Christopher Russell, who is not only the face of their travel website, but also develops a romantic interest in Arya as well. Alex must navigate his growing feelings for Arya while competing for her attention with Sterling. As the two writers try to outdo each other in their attempts to win Arya's heart, they begin to realize the true meaning of Christmas and the importance of putting others first. Ultimately, Alex must decide whether to follow his heart and pursue a relationship with Arya or prioritize his career ambitions. This movie will keep you on the edge of your seat for sure. Next on our list is a light musical romance, Roadhouse Romance. In this Hallmark special, upon Callie's return home, she discovers that her family's restaurant, famous for its barbecue and secret sauce recipe, is struggling to stay afloat. The missing recipe, which was held dear by her grandfather, has led to a drop in sales and overall morale. In an effort to save the restaurant and uphold her grandfather's legacy, Callie takes it upon herself to find the recipe. In the midst of her mission, Callie meets Luke, a TV director who is stuck in town due to bad weather. Despite their initial friction, the two soon find themselves growing closer. Luke is charmed by Callie's down-to-earth personality and the warmth of her community, while Callie finds herself attracted to Luke's ambition and drive. Not a country music fan, I take it. It's not really on my playlist, no. Country music is special. It allows people to share their truth and to share their stories. Along the way, Callie and Luke discover more than just the recipe. They discover a deep connection and a love that was unexpected. With the help of Luke's resources and Callie's passion, the two work together to bring the restaurant back to its former glory. There's a lot of dance and music in this one, and you'd be compelled to move because country music has its own vibe. Next up on our list is another soft love story, Always Amore. In this movie, Elizabeth is heartbroken and struggling to cope with the loss of her husband, who was not only her partner in life, but also in business. The Italian restaurant that they built together was not just a source of income, but a symbol of their love and shared passion for food. In an effort to keep the restaurant afloat, Elizabeth reluctantly hires Ben, a restaurant consultant with a reputation for turning struggling businesses around. At first, Elizabeth is resistant to change and struggles to adapt to Ben's new ideas for the restaurant. But as she begins to see the positive impact of his suggestions, she starts to open up to him and his approach. Let this person who we've never met turn everything upside down. He's the best in the business. He spends more time with Elizabeth and at the restaurant, he finds himself drawn to her quiet strength and resilience. Despite her grief, she remains determined to keep the restaurant going and honor her husband's memory. Ben admires her dedication and her unwavering commitment to her customers and her employees. As the two work together to revamp the restaurant and attract new customers, their professional relationship begins to evolve into something more. Ben finds himself falling for her, but he knows that getting involved with a client could compromise his reputation and their business partnership. Everything we do comes from the heart, and I don't want to lose that. You have everything that you need to get back on top right in front of you. Despite the risks, Ben can't help but be drawn to her and her spirit. He admires her strength and her ability to carry on in the face of tragedy, and he knows that she deserves happiness and love. As they navigate their growing feelings for each other, they must also navigate the challenges of running a restaurant and keeping the relationship professional. I had a lot of people counting on me. Then I realized I could count on you. In the end, Elizabeth and Ben's hard work pays off, both in the success of the restaurant and in their blossoming relationship. They find love and happiness in each other, and they know that the restaurant will always be a symbol of their shared passion and commitment to each other. This next movie is my personal favorite and one of his newest, Picture of Her. The universe has a funny way of bringing people together, and for Beth and Jake, it all started with the photograph. When Beth's image graces the cover of a popular magazine, she becomes consumed with the desire to uncover the person behind the lens. Little did she know, the mysterious photographer Jake was on a quest of his own, grappling with his own challenges and personal struggles. I'm trying to find out who did this. Who is Shutterbot? <gasps> Might just capture his heart. Can I call you? Please. Despite the odds, fate brought them together in the most unexpected way. 
Beth and Jake's path intersected in a way that neither of them could have predicted. As they begin to unravel the mystery behind the photograph, they discover a deeper connection that transcends the glossy pages of a magazine. As they navigate the twists and turns of life, Beth and Jake find solace in each other's company. Despite the challenges that they face, they remain steadfast in their support for one another. They share laughs and tears, triumphs and setbacks. And through it all, they find comfort in the knowledge that they're not alone. You made me want to be an artist again. It's probably me and you. As their relationship deepens, Beth and Jake realize that their meet cute was just the beginning of a beautiful love story. They could have never imagined that a single photograph would bring them together, but now they know that it was all meant to be. With every passing day, they fall more deeply in love, grateful for the serendipitous moment that brought them into each other's lives. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to Hallmark Universe, Hines' performances are sure to leave you feeling inspired and uplifted, and they might even make you fall in love with him. His charm, wit, and talent shine through in every scene, and his chemistry with his co-stars is nothing short of magical. So if you're in need of a little romance, a good laugh, or a feel-good story, be sure to check out Tyler Hines' Best Hallmark Movies. You will not be disappointed. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and consider becoming a member today to stay up to date on all the latest Hallmark news and updates. Thanks for watching. Until next time.